Hello everybody and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from CRT Designs and today I have these really fun Halloween ATCs to share with you. I am a part of the Shop Your Stash Monster Mash YouTube hop and I'm going to talk more about that here in a minute. Let me just uh, show you how I make the background and then we'll jump back into the information. So I have a piece of Strathmore watercolor cardstock. I like to use this because I can make four ATCs out of it. And I have four colors of Distress Sprays. I have a uh, Dusty Concord Distress Oxide Ink, Wilted Violet Stain, like ink stain. And then I have two of the uh, Mica Sprays. I have Hocus Pocus and Empty Tomb. Now those are obviously not available anymore. They were a part of the Halloween uh, collection, unless you were lucky enough to get them or you have a local store that maybe still has them in stock. Uh, but I love these Mica Sprays, they're so great. And so I've done the first layer on my background and I'm gonna dry it in between and then I'm gonna go on to my second layer. So a bit about this hop. Um, the theme is of course Halloween and it had to include monsters, whether cute, scary, or creepy. Um, and you had to include the colors black and purple. So that's kind of what I was thinking for my background. My background is mostly going to be uh, purple and dark, darker colors. I bring in some black a little bit later into the ATCs, but uh, my background is mostly purple and a little bit of gray with that empty tomb mica spray. And then I am going to color with my Karen Brush Marker Pros. Uh, I have been asked about this. I used them in a couple of my videos, uh, the five cards, one kit videos. So I am going to show you how I use them. I don't have the exact colors li linked just because I, I randomly pulled colors as I saw them. So I am gonna show you that though. But first, I'm going to stamp out my images. So my images are from the Tim Holtz Stamp Timber 2019 uh, stamp set. These are probably my favorite cre like creature monster-esque images. Uh, you obviously cannot get this anymore. Uh, because it's like over two years old now but the whole point of this hop is to use things that are in your stash and you know kind of showcase monsters that are you know something that's not brand new that's uh, something that's easily usable um, that you know maybe you haven't used in a while because they're they're older st stamp sets or or how whatever people are choosing to use so that's what I'm using. I am going to heat emboss them. So I'm stamping them out in Versa Fine Onyx Black ink. And then I'm going to heat emboss them with Wow Dull Embossing Powder. This is my preferred way to color with my Karen Brush Marker Pros. Uh, just because uh, it like traps the watercolor in the image. These aren't really great for embossing unless the embossing is super fine. Simply because the images have a lot of dark lines in them. But... I think it, it ends up working out pretty well just because uh, I do kind of a looser, looser style on them. And I'm only going to show you the coloring on uh, the eyeball jar and the skull. I, I don't show you all the coloring, but I did want to include some of the coloring because I have had some questions about how I've been coloring with these Brush Marker Pros. Uh, but uh, so I'm going to show you how I color with them, but it is going to be kind of very, very sped up because it took me quite a while just to even color those two images. So I like to lay down the color, uh, usually on the left side, because I like to put the deepest color on the left side. And then I use a water brush and pull out the color and then I clean the brush between colors. So that's kind of how I tend to do my um, coloring with these. Uh, and then if I want more color, I just kind of add it on top. Sometimes I do a little bit of wet on wet technique as well. It just kind of honestly depends on what I'm feeling. But you can see there that I do kind of put the color on the left hand side and then pull it out with the water brush and then usually go in and deepen the color a bit on the left hand side. And sometimes it takes me a minute to pick my colors too. You can see here like this is sped up quite a bit, uh, but I really wanted to keep it in because I have had some interest in how I actually use these to color. So. I thought I would show you. So more about this hop. So it is a YouTube hop. It has a hashtag. The hashtag is shop your stash monster mash. It will be the first link in the YouTube description down below. And you just click on it and it'll show you a list of everybody who's involved in the hop. There should be 15 creators that are involved. And there's also a giveaway. There is a giveaway from a colorful life designs. They're generously donating a $30 gift card to one lucky winner. So make sure that you leave a like, leave a comment on each video that gives you an extra chance to be entered. And then the winner will be randomly selected on Friday, October 22nd, 2021 at uh, by 11.59 p.m. EST. So you have until the Friday, October 22nd to enter. 
Uh, so make sure you enter, make sure you leave comments and, and stop by everybody's videos so that you have a chance at that uh, gift card because I think it's a great giveaway. So th thank you so much to A Colorful Life Designs. Very, very generous and very considerate. Uh, yeah, so make sure you guys hop along. So the only thing you need to do is you click on that hashtag. As I said, it will be in the top of my description box. Uh, so it's really easy to click on because it should be the first thing you see there. And then it'll take you to a list of everybody and you should be able to just hop along and watch all the videos. Uh, so yeah, make sure you do that and leave comments and likes on everybody's video. So I've finished the coloring and now I'm going to fussy cut these out. Now fussy cutting these, I'm only going to fussy cut around the main image. I don't want the sentiments. We're not going to add those to the my ATCs. Oh, and if you don't know what an ATC is, it is an artist trading card. Uh, I have a lot of videos on my channel of making artist trading cards. I'll put a link up in the corner if you want to check out other videos after you've jumped through everybody in the hop uh, of ATCs. They're just a really great way to kind of have your creativity and then you trade to other artists, which I think is pretty amazing. So I quite enjoy making them. And I thought these images really lent themselves well to ATCs. So I am going to fussy cut these out, but I do not cut out each piece like you can see here on the skull I didn't cut the little leaves I didn't cut the like all the random extra stuff I'm going to stamp the images on the backgrounds later and to kind of add that back in but I didn't want to fussy cut around that that's not I mean there's no dies for these right like this is a two-year-old stamp set uh, and Tim Holtz never brings up dies for these sets anyway I don't believe so uh, this is just you have to kind of fussy cut them or you don't get to use them this way so uh, I mean I don't miss I don't mind fussy cutting I know some people don't enjoy it but I think it's just pretty relaxing I just and you don't have to be perfect because here you can see I'm using a Copic marker and I'm just coloring the background of this image I don't know that a Copic marker is the best marker for this it's just the only one I own so that's what I chose to use so I just flip the image and then I go from the back in case I make a mistake and then I just run it along the edge to take away that white core of the cardstock so it looks less like I've just trimmed it out um, I think a lot of other people use like mo the momentum um, tuxedo black marker. I just don't have one, so I use what I have. So here I'm going to use black soot archival ink, and I'm going to stamp the image down on each card. So I've lined them up kind of where I want them on the cards, and I'm going to stamp them down so that I can add back in like the little dots and the little, like in this case, little um, stems to the leaves and the flowers and whatnot. But because this is a watercolor cardstock and it's quite textured, I do have to stamp it a few times. I mean, this doesn't really bother me. Um, you just stamp it down and call it a day. But uh, if this bothers you, I mean, maybe you could try a darker ink. I don't know that I own anything that I was worried wouldn't move with the watercolor background. So this is kind of what I chose to use. And I think it looked, turned out really great. And I actually, on the little eyeball jar... I stamped it out two more times behind the jar to kind of fill out the image a bit more. I didn't want to stamp and color more because I want that green and blue image to be the focal, but I did uh, stamp it out in the background and you'll see it here in a second. And then I took my same little uh, ink pad and you probably shouldn't do this. It's probably not great for your ink pad, but uh, you know, I do what I do with what I've got. So this is what I did. And I just, I kind of like wiped it along the edge to again, hide that black or white core of paper. Um, and then kind of smeared it a bit on the front as well, just to add a little more texture to it. But here you can see on that little eyeball card there that there are two more stacked behind it and that's just added texture in the background just for something a little more um, because that image is so small it takes up so much less room on the card that it kind of got like it looked kind of odd in its placement um, so this is just me adding extra texture to the background not necessary uh, you could of course stamp them out and cut them out if you really wanted to I didn't want to do that so I didn't but you could and now I'm going to bring in some black mica flakes. Uh, these were also from Halloween. Uh, I don't know if you can get them. I, if you can get them, I will link and list everything down below uh, if you're interested in trying to, to purchase some of these things. I mean, some are obviously available. They're all year round, but some were specific to uh, Tim Holtz's Halloween event, so they may not be available, but... And so I just sprinkled those on the background in, in this case, in a few different areas. And I'm going to do that on all the cards. I'm only going to show it to you on this one card though, uh, because literally it's just me putting glue and then slapping down some cool glitter like that. That's kind of all I've done. And then, he, <laughs> okay. So you can see the three cards sitting to the side there, to the right side. Um, I actually tried out four different ways to add these dots and stars to see if any of the uh, products that I own would not 
turn slightly purple. None of them did it. So, hi, I just went back to my usual white gel pen and I'm using it uh, in the 10 and the 5 to have different li- like size of nib. Um, excuse my head, it kind of pops in the corner there every once in a while. And I'm honestly just adding little dots and little kind of like stars or glitter marks just for some added pizzazz in the background. I just think it looks really cool. Um, and I did it, of course, to the other three as well, but I didn't film that because I honestly was just trying out different products and some worked slightly better and some worked slightly uh, worse. So (laughs) none of them worked quite as well as I had hoped, but that's okay. I think it still looks really pretty. They're just not as bright white as they maybe could have been. They're just slightly tinged purple which again is not a big deal. And I just added them all over the place. I I just think it was a really fun way to add a little more texture in the background. And then I'm gonna hold these cards up so you guys can check them out in all their glory and see their beautiful black mica that's in the background there. You can kind of see here the bird is kind of sitting on it and holding a little bit in his hand and then he has some sparkles in his background, so. I really like how these turned out. It's sad that the picture doesn't really do them justice, so that's kind of why I'm going to hold them up so you can kind of get an idea of of everything that's kind of going on in these cards. But again, you can't quite catch the mica in the sprays in the background either. So, I mean, they're really pretty. They turned out pretty great. So make sure that you check everybody out in the hop and make sure you leave comments and likes. Make sure you get in on this giveaway. Get your chance to win this uh, $30 gift card from A Colorful Life Designs. And again, thank you so much to A Colorful Life designs for sponsoring this hop and graciously donating a gift card that's so wonderful and thank you nancy for organizing this hop so thank you so much guys and i will see you again soon bye bye for now